Hi, my name is Marion. Um, I'm going to show you how to make Irish soda bread today. I'm sorry that I can't do it in person at the library. Some of you may recognize me from the past, I don't know, six, seven years I've been there making it. Um, but you know what? At least you're doing it from the comfort of your own home and you don't have to be in a library room getting it all over the place. Anyway, it's a very easy recipe. Um, um, I'm going to show you like how to measure out all the ingredients and everything. But if you're picking up the kit at the library, all of the dry ingredients, the flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, and salt will already be pre-measured in a little bag for you. So you could just dump it in. That actually saves you time too. Okay. So the recipe is simple. I've made it so many times that I don't even need to look at a recipe to make it. So, but you guys don't worry, I'm giving you a recipe. So there's not that many ingredients. It's basically flour, sugar, butter, eggs, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and raisins. Um, if you don't like raisins, you don't have to add raisins. Some people put caraway seeds in because apparently a lot of people enjoy that in Irish soda bread. I'm not a caraway seed fan, so I've never really put it in my soda bread. So however, if you decide you want caraway seeds, feel free. Okay, so anyway, one of the beauties of this recipe is that it's all made inside one bowl. Very, very easy, okay? So basically what we're gonna do is we need two cups of flour. one quarter cup of sugar. Um, now I'm sure you guys know this, but these are dry measuring um, measuring cups and this is a wet measuring cup. This is what you use for the liquid, which will be milk. Okay, so then we want a quarter cup of sugar. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, don't get that mixed up. It's very important. <laughs> if you mix up the the baking powder and the baking soda, the bread will not be good. So one and a half. Okay, and the next ingredient will be baking soda. And for that, you only need a half teaspoon. Final dry ingredient is salt, and that you need a half teaspoon. Okay, so it's not necessary, but it's probably better if you mix all that together before you add the butter. Okay, so I'll mix that up. Once you mix it up, if you look inside, it really just looks like flour. You mm -hmm. know, it's all those other good things. Okay, then you need a half a stick of butter. So just put that in. And you just want to mix this in. You can use a pastry blender if you have it. You can use your fingers if you want. You could use a spoon or you could be really fancy and use two knives to like cut the butter in. That's not necessary. The butter, I usually leave it out to soften. So the butter mixes in beautifully. You just want it to be, it's going to be clumpy. It's still going to look mostly like a dry mixture, but the butter will be blended in to the ingredients so that it's well incorporated. It doesn't even take that long. You just don't want to see any really large clumps when you get ready to add the wet ingredients. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Like I said, it doesn't take that long. Quick and easy to mix in softened butter. Don't melt it because that'll give it a different consistency. Just soften it. Leave it out for a couple hours. Put it in the microwave for five seconds. Any way works. Okay. So then the next thing we want to add is one egg. And three quarters of a cup of milk. If you want it to be extra fancy, you could do buttermilk. Um, um, it really, the final product isn't that much different. I think butter, buttermilk probably gives it a little bit of like a richer consistency. Um, 
But you know what? It, the purpose of this is to be made with ingredients you have on hand. Like most people don't have buttermilk in their house at all times. So I don't really see, you know, why you have to rush out and get it. However, try it. You might like it. All right. So now we're just going to mix this all up. Okay. It's going to be kind of a stiff batter. It's not, um, it's not too, not too like liquidy, not like pancakes. It's like thicker than pancakes. You want it to be fully combined. You don't want to see any like liquid spots. All right. Comes together very nicely. Almost like a biscuit. If you've ever made biscuits, it's like that. There's that. Okay. And then once you have all of the dry stuff mixed in with the wet stuff, you'll see it looks like kind of like a blob. This is what you want to see. All right. Then it's time to add the raisins. Now remember, if you don't like raisins, feel free to leave them out. It's not necessary. And for the raisins, you just want to add a half a cup. Um, Here's about a half a cup of raisins. Add that in. And then we're gonna mix these in. It's actually called folding. So we're gonna fold in the raisins. That way they get all mixed into the batter. Um, and basically, that's the whole thing you need to make Irish soda bread dough. So what you wanna do is you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You want to, um, I tend to cook it on a stoneware tray, a Pampered Chef stoneware tray. If you don't have that, cookie sheet's fine. You could cook it actually in a round um, cast iron skillet. You know, uh, you could even get creative and put it into muffin pans. You could put it into a loaf pan, you know, whatever, whatever it fits in. There's no, um, there's no rules. <laughs> so what you wanna do is you wanna plop it onto the baking sheet. It's basically just going to look, it's, you're going to leave it looking like a blob of dough. All right, I'm going to use the spatula to get it off. Okay, so the spatula just to make sure. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to just make sure it's formed. It doesn't have to be a perfect ball, um, but you don't want it like hanging all over the sheet. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and then the final thing is, and this is actually a traditional Irish thing, um, you'll cut across into the top of your bread. Here we go. In, it, if you don't cut the cross, it'll still taste good and it'll still bake good, but traditionally a cross is cut into the top of the loaf of soda bread. Okay, so now we're gonna put it in the oven and it's gonna cook for about 30 to 35 minutes at 350. I preheated so it's ready already. Right. 30 minutes is fine. Um, okay. And when it comes out of the oven, it should look a little something like this. Okay. My advice is to slice it while it's still kind of warm and put butter on it and definitely to enjoy it. So I hope you enjoyed this um, Irish soda bread lesson from home. Um, like I said, in your kits, you'll have all the dry ingredients. I will send the raisins. I will give detailed instructions and um, a list of what you need to buy. Basically, you'll need to make sure that you have on hand an egg, milk, and if you want caraway seeds and butter, of course, because you need the butter to put into it. Okay, and that's really it. So um, have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day and enjoy your soda bread. Bye.